Assalamu alaikum and welcome to our show. I'm your host, Lance Shabazz, and you're watching The Lance Shabazz Show. As always, we encourage you to call a friend, call a neighbor. Let them know The Lance Shabazz Show is on right now. We're also on the web at www.lanceshabazz.com. That's www.lanceshabazz.com. Our email address is lanceshabazzshow at aol.com. Show at AOL.com. And you can reach us via the phone at 718-527-3603. Once again, that's 718-527-3603. We thank you and we welcome you. We ask for just 30 minutes of your time, 30 minutes that we hope to inform, encourage, enlighten you uh, with this program um, with respect to the history in regards to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Brothers and sisters, I'm happy and honored, excited, and delighted to have a guest, uh, Brother Minister Hamza Al-Afis. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Sam, sir. Brother, that name, Hamza Al-Afis, can you give me the definition of it, please? Hamza means a unifier. Yes, sir. Al-Afis means the preserver. Go ahead, brother. And I love it. All right. Now, the last names, give me that history that you had shared with me briefly yes, before. Yes, Muslims don't have last names. Come on. They have, they have no last name for Jesus, mm -hmm. Musa, Jeremiah, Zechariah, there was no last name. Mm -hmm. The name, the name, the name defines the person. Go ahead. Every name means something. Yes, sir. And when, when Moses named his son, he said, "Because you were stranger in the land." Mm -hmm. Every time a name is given, is uh, except here in America, we don't we name after Uncle Joe, mm -hmm. Aunt Bubba, Mary, Bobo, <laughs> TJ. Yes, sir. But in other countries, yes, sir. Other, other cultures, the name has some meaning. That's right. The Bible said a good name is better than gold. Well, in the in the uh, Masonic Bible, yes, sir. It said the name of the, the name of God was lost to the Jews mm -hmm. because they began to write it in in symbols. Yes, sir. And he lost the knowledge of the name of God. But it says God always have a name because His name dignifies the character, shows the characters of that God. Yes, sir. That's why our God name is Farad Muhammad. That's right. Meaning the dawn. That's right. Mean the coming of a new day. That's right. A new Islam. Go ahead. A new world. Yes, sir. Not the old Islam, but the new Islam. And one you're obligated to obey. Yes, obey. sir. Obey. That's right. Praise be to Allah. See, the laws, the laws, not the laws are not enforced. See, the laws is there for us to reject or to be accept. Mm -hmm. But when we go outside the law, we fall. That's right. But we were taught our restrictive laws was our success. Whenever our success. we deviated from that. We felt nothing but problems. We had we had nothing but problems. You know, in the, in the old, we, we, we started printing Jim Muhammad's speech back in 1979. Yes, sir. Every issue had a, a copy or of the 36 laws of Islam. That's right. It was important. And yet, we had people write us and don't put it in there. But that's our protection. That's right. The restrictive law. That's right. So let's move on. Go ahead. Yes, now, brother, the last time that uh, we had, we had a, uh, you know, I really it didn't sit well with me either. You had arrived late, and we had waited several hours, and I got quite a few uh, response that people wanted me to clear up that, and uh, so I wanted to go back into that on with respect to Muhammad Ali, and for those in the audience who don't know what we're talking about, we had a conversation a few months back where we were going over Muhammad Ali and um, his suspension. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad removing his name and giving him the name Cassius Clay. And uh, did you want to speak on that a, a minute? Yeah, Mr. Muhammad wrote, wrote the article that says, he is now Cassius Clay to us. Mm -hmm. He never gave back the name. When the reporter asked Muhammad Ali or Cassius Clay about his new name, he says, I went to court and got it. Mm -hmm. Mr. Muhammad said when he, when, he, when, he, when he went back on his word, he said he wouldn't go into service because he was a, mu he was a Muslim minister. Right. Then when he had a chance to go back to fight again, then he went back to fight. Right. So you can't say you can't go into service because you're a minister, and then you're fighting. Right. Let me uh, show this clip where uh, Muhammad Ali, this is the actual show, Bud Collins' interview that got Muhammad Ali suspended or expelled from the Nation of Islam. If you can, we can roll that clip now, 
If I did fight again, the only reason would be was to get out of debt. This is the only way that I have to make the necessary money to pay my draft lawyers, which I owe $280,000 that I uh, spent in the $280,000 for your appeals and your fighting, trials and so fighting on. Fighting for justice cost me that much. And then other things, back alimony to the wife, and I can't pay nobody now because I'm not allowed to work in out of the country. So if I did fight, it'll be for those reasons. But just boxing itself, I can box tomorrow if I want to. I could just go to the gymnasium and box, but it's the money. I'm going to say, Floyd, I kind of trust it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to say, God can't make us free. Yes, sir. Why would we go to court and ask the devil to give us a name that we that be that was taken from God. Right. So Mama and me said, well, if Mama took the name back, she went to the devil to get it. And he never went back to the Muhammad to try to change it again. Right. You have to understand that. Mama and me, you see where he went at. We all wrote a letter, brother. Yes, we did. Dear Savior Allah, I believe in the religion of Islam as taught by thy servant Elijah Muhammad. Right. We didn't join the nation of Islam. We registered the nation of Islam. That's right. We were born Muslims. We were born, so they said we, we accepted. We accepted the because teaching. God didn't come to make us a Muslim. He came and told us who we were. Yes, sir. That's that's what that's what the confusion that people say. When did you join Islam? When did you join the nation? We were born to the nation. Every original Every man. man. Any black man, woman, or child That's right. is born a Muslim. I mean, by nature, we are born to submit to the will of God. That's correct. Uh, but we've been tempered with. Because we've been tempered with, we deviate from the truth. So many of us didn't take that letter seriously. Muhammad Ali didn't take it seriously either. Right. The letter was serious, brother. The letter was like a shahada. It was a covenant with God. And those of us that turned back, Turn back from God. Right. I th I believe that Muhammad Ali did see the error of his ways, and if that second clip is ready, you'll see Muhammad Ali had accepted the suspension, and he said everything the Honorable Elijah Muhammad did was correct. And uh, we like to just look at the monitor and look at this. You can roll that clip now. I will return to boxing, or if I do, it will only be for money. When I'm really not in need for money, and uh, <laughs> I'm living good, and and I'm believe in God, Allah, and if I, uh, I've always said that he's sufficient to feed me and clothe me and then to turn right around and say I'm going back to boxing for money as if to say God cannot take care of me or what I believe in. This looked real bad and I know him better, my leader, and I'm glad he did punish me and uh, like followers in our faith are dismissed daily if they're wrong for smoking, drinking, adultery, fornication, or whatever it might be. Uh, the late Malcolm X was one to uh, had said something about President Kennedy, he was expelled. Uh, even Elijah Muhammad's sons, blood sons, uh, my manager, one of an example, is expelled. He's been now for at least the past five years from his father in the religion. Uh, just because I'm on your t white TV shows and in the boxing rings and praise so high in white society, this means nothing to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He's independent, God, Allah is independent, and I'm just an ordinary follower in his eyesight because the Islamic religion the world over teach that we are all equal and there are no big eyes and little U's and if I'm wrong I pay like everybody else but as naturally anything that I do is nationwide publicity so when I was expelled it was picked up and blowed up to be something real big so uh, I pay like everybody else and I was wrong and everything Elijah Muhammad did to me was right um, I wanted you to see that Muhammad yeah, Ali did you notice uh, you mentioned that's not Muhammad <laughs> you going to take a look for that. Huh? That's important, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. See, Allah is not a fool with us. Right. He said, but brother, let me just say this. Master Rahm Muhammad didn't put him, expel him, so he was saying what the Ambi Lodge Muhammad expelled him, so he was answering in that sense that he was wrong. Yeah. You know. But I'm saying that's that's the cause for our disarray today. Mm -hmm. The disbelief in Master Rahm Muhammad as God. Mm -hmm. That's the hardest part to accept. You notice he said there on that tape, he says, Islam teaches we all equal. Mm -hmm. It's true because the fact is that there are no Imams mentioned in the Holy Quran. Right. That's no true. Imams. No Imams, that's true. No Popes in the Bible. Mm -hmm. No Cardinals. Go ahead. No Bishops. Bishops, that's right. 